Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Team Yellows. Hi, I'm Paul, the guy behind Driving Mall, and um, here on a cold but sunny day uh, in Auckland, uh, hence the uh, several layers of clothes on today. So let's talk Team Yellows. Uh, something that we have talked about and a suggestion I've put out there on Hash Rugby Chat when I was running my Twitter chats uh, before, uh, but it's also something that came up by the guys on the Rugby Report card. Uh, they do a podcast on uh, green and gold rugby, so have a um, check them out. They're a good crowd. But what they were talking about was the inconsistency of Team Yellows, or yellow cards for repeat infringements. At the moment, it's really entirely up to the referee, and I'm not sure there are even or what sort of guidelines referees are given, um, but uh, it's definitely, it does seem to be inconsistent. One of the things that um, I thought about was that perhaps it's time that after X number of penalties, um, your team earns a yellow card. So, for example, um, the fifth penalty is a yellow, um, then, is, then the tenth penalty is, then the fifteenth, then the twentieth, and so on. Now, most teams uh, don't give up, um, uh, or most teams aim to give up less than, uh, um, less than ten penalties a game. So we're not talking adding lots and lots of cards uh, to, um, uh, to the game. We already are at at least a yellow card a game uh, in Super Rugby at least. Uh, and I think we're probably somewhere close to that in the Northern Hemisphere as well. So cards are uh, an every game occurrence nowadays. It's not the exception. It is the rule. And so uh, I think that we're probably getting to the time where it is that we should be saying X number of penalties equal a yellow card. And you could use the TMO could count those so the referee wouldn't have to worry about missing or trying to keep count in his head. Now, some people say that penalties in different parts of the pitch are worth sort of different amounts or are more cynical than others. So giving up a penalty on your five metre line uh, where a, a try is more likely uh, is different to giving up a penalty um, on the halfway line. Uh, both could end up with three points, but the one on the, or the, the play on the try line is much more likely to lead to a try. So maybe it shouldn't just be uh, penalties anywhere on the pitch. Uh, and the kind of play that we should be trying to get, to, trying to cut out, that we are definitely seeing, and I think is a, is a characteristic of the New Zealand sides, is penalties within the 22. Uh, the New Zealand teams are very happy to, or not happy, but uh, um, are willing to give up three points um, as opposed to five or seven. And so you'll quite often see penalties uh, given up in their own half or in their own 22 uh, to stop the team's momentum, where if the same play was in the opposition half, they would not be infringing. And that is cynical, and you'd call it professional play, I, assume, I, I guess. Uh, but it's the kind of thing we don't want to, we should try and stamp out. So maybe rather than every five penalties, which should be uh, every five penalties given up in your own 22. Uh, and that would stop or reduce the amount of penalties given uh, or committed by players uh, on their own goal line or in their own 22. Uh, and so perhaps we should be having every five, every five penalties you give up in your own 22 equals a yellow card. That way we wouldn't be seeing, it wouldn't, it wouldn't necessarily be every game that this would happen because teams don't give up necessarily uh, five or more penalties in their own 22 in a game, but it would uh, cease or it would definitely um, cut down on the amount of cynical play that we see when people when teams are getting close to the try line. So that's my thoughts on this. I'm always up for good rugby chat, so please do let me know below uh, if you think that we should be seeing uh, a set number of penalties for for repeat infringements, repeat infringements leading to the yellow card, or whether you think uh, actually it should still be down to the referee. Uh, and he decides because the different penalties are, are more or less cynical than others. Uh, uh, do please sign up for my uh, user, link above on Twitter, link down below in YouTube, um, and also um, please do share this with your friends and get their views as well around repeat infringements and Team Yellows, um, and give it a thumbs up on YouTube. I'll be back tomorrow with my Super Rugby predictions. Um, and then on Wednesday with my Aviva Premiership uh, and Pro 12 final predictions and the top 14 semi-finals, I think it is, this coming weekend as well. So see you all then and have a great day.